Good morning. Welcome to uh, Morning Prayer for Monday the 17th of August. We'll just give a few minutes for others to join us and uh, then we'll get going. I think we've all got a nice cup of tea. I've got a coffee today actually. Feels like one of those mornings. Morning Mark, morning Diana, morning Lynn. Morning everyone. Morning Leslie. It was nice to uh, meet a few of you in church yesterday in uh, St Peter's and St Mary's and um, I didn't necessarily put faces to names because of the masks. It was nice to uh, Nice to say hello. Just to let you know that our psalm this morning is Psalm 71, when we come to that, Psalm 71. And our Bible reading will be from Acts chapter 3, beginning at verse 11. So we'll come on to that in a little bit. Morning, June. So, let's begin our prayers. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. I was chatting to somebody yesterday about that line in that prayer, as we rejoice in the gift of this new day. It's a helpful reminder that each new day is a gift from God. Um, some days feel like more of a gift than others, but each day is a gift from God. And it's a lovely way to start the day, reminding ourselves of that. So our psalm is Psalm 71. Psalm 71 and um, the refrain from the psalm which we'll come to from time to time um, and each time I'll leave a pause for you to join in. The refrain is, O God, be not far from me. O God, be not far from me. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord my God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth, when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall always be of you. O God, be not far from me. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him, pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me, come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace, let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. O God, be not far from me. 
But as for me, I will hope continually, and I will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, be not far from me. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation, and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. O God, be not far from me. Therefore I will praise you on the harp, for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. O God, be not far from me. Faithful Lord, living Saviour, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, may we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Bible reading is from Acts chapter 3 and beginning at verse 11. And just to give a slight context, because otherwise the first sentence doesn't really make any sense. Uh, Peter and John have been in the temple and they've just healed a man who was crippled from birth. Um, and so they've um, they've healed him and uh, made him well and people have started to notice. So this is Acts chapter 3, beginning at verse 11. While the man clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's portico, utterly astonished. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people. You, Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we'd made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the Holy and Righteous One and asked to have a murderer given to you, and you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, his name himself has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah appointed for you, that is, Jesus, who must remain in heaven until the time of universal restoration that God announced long ago through his holy prophets. Moses said, The Lord your God will raise up for... for eh, sorry. The Lord your God will raise up for you from your own people, a prophet like me. You must listen to whatever he tells you, and it will be that everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be utterly rooted out from the people. And all the prophets, as many have spoken, from Samuel and those after him, also predicted these days. You are the descendants of the prophets and of the covenant that God gave your ancestors, saying to Abraham, In your descendants all the families of the earth shall be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you, to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. And so our responsory for a Monday morning. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And so we come to our time of prayer. Do um, add people or situations for prayer into the uh, comments and I'll try and include them as we go along. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we pray today, many of you will uh, know Debs and um, her husband Pete. And Pete's dad sadly passed away on Saturday night. So do hold uh, Debs and Pete and Caleb in your prayers. So Lord, we pray for Pete and his family, and for Debs and Caleb in all the stress of moving and also grieving. Give them your peace. We pray for Ben, for Stacy, whose baby is due soon, for Sarah and Sarah Little. We pray for Meg and Raphael, for Sue, for Andrew, for Kate, for Archie and for Mia. We pray for Kenny and Margaret, for Angie and for Derek. in our communities who are lonely, those who are feeling isolated, those who are anxious about leaving their homes at the moment. We pray especially for children and all of their anxiety. 
pray for those preparing to return to schools in a couple of weeks' time. We pray for our schools. Ask your blessing on all the preparations that they're making. to keep the children and the staff safe. So, Lord, we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and the fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Collect for the tenth Sunday after Trinity. Let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, and that they may obtain their petitions. Make them to ask such things as shall please you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord Thanks be to God. Amen. Oh, well, that's a nice way to start the week. Lovely to be with you. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for sharing uh, in our prayers and uh, offering up people and situations for prayer and um, Lynn will be with you tomorrow morning at half past eight uh, for Tuesday morning prayer. Have a wonderful day.